He said, so when you spread out your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. Yes, even though you multiply prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are covered with blood. Now, is prayer important to God? Yes, He invented it. Again, it wasn't you or me or them. It was God who invented the whole idea of prayer, the privilege of talking to God and listening to Him talk back. But look at what God said. When you spread out your hands in prayer, what will He do? I will hide my eyes. I will not listen. Your hands are covered with blood. What does that mean? There's blood on your hands. You're guilty of sin. You're living a double life. Even if you come to worship, and even if you spread out your hands in prayer, even if you come to pray and fast twice a year, I will not listen to you because you have decided to live a double life. Look what he said. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from my sight. Cease to do evil. Even in the previous verse, God said, I cannot endure iniquity and the solemn assembly. Meaning to say, I cannot endure a double life. You say you worship me and you love me, and yet on an everyday basis, you do things which I don't approve of. I hope and I pray that it's not true of any one of us. But again, it's a warning, a reminder. If our Christian life has become superficial, routinary, empty, just a tick in the box, an obligation to fulfill, then something is wrong. Because that response does not indicate a right view of who God is.